Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. This is my first video based on information theory. In this video, I will discuss about fundamentals of information. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you the outlines of this video. In this video, first of all, I will discuss about basics of information theory. After that, I will discuss about basics of uncertainty. After that, I will explain measure of information. And at last, I'll discuss about properties of information. So let us start this video with first agenda. That is basics of information theory. See, in communication system, what we do is we transmit information from source to destination. So you can observe here we have source. With source, here we have information that is getting encoded first and then it is given to transmitter. Transmitter will be forwarding information on channel. This channel can be wired or wireless channel and via channel receiver will be receiving information. After that we will be decoding it and at last information is there at destination side. So you need to understand what is information. Information is a message, right? See information is a message in information theory. This message can be an electrical signal, it can be speech or voice signal, it can be image signal, it can be video signal or it can be text data, right? So information is a message and this message can be there in different forms. Like it can be there in terms of electrical signal, speech signal, image signal, video signal or text data, right? See in context of digital communication, or information theory. Information is what you send or receive. So here you can observe in communication system, source is sending information and destination is receiving information via channel, right? So information is a message which we send or receive. It is a meaningful content. Usually we represent that in terms of bits or signals rather than random noise. So here in communication system, we don't transmit noise, but obviously noise is added in channel, but information is a message that is meaningful content. We represent that in terms of bits or signal, right? See information is quantitative and can be measured in terms of bits. One should know information is represented in form of bits. That I'll explain in terms of equation even. Right now consider information is quantitative and it can be measured in terms of bits. Information is different from data or signals. See data or signals may carry information but not all the parts of signal are informative. The reason is you will be observing with data we also send redundant information. Like for example here you have one message, right, that you are sending on the channel. But along with the message, you will be forwarding source ID, destination ID, and then via channel, destination will receive information plus redundant data, right. And if you talk about signals, then with signals, you will be observing as and when signal is passing through channel, at the time noise is getting added. So data or signal may carry information, but not all the parts of signal and data are informative, right? In communication, a system has source, channel and receiver. You can observe in communication system is having source, channel and receiver. Here source is generating message which go through channel. Possibly it may get corrupted by noise and receiver tries to reconstruct the message at destination side, right? So here you need to understand one thing. See, information is a message. It can be electrical, speech, image, video or text data. We represent information in terms of bits, right? Now let me discuss about basics of uncertainty. To understand that, let us consider one message signal. I have told you, see, information is message. Right. So let us say one message X is having multiple events and those events are 
x1, x2, x3 up to xn and given events is having probabilities p1, p2, p3 up to pn. So here message x is having multiple events and this multiple events is having different probabilities. If you talk about total probability of message x, then that will be algebraic sum of probabilities with different event of message x and you will be observing total probability that is addition of all the probabilities which is there with events and that will be unity. Now you need to understand uncertainty based on probability of message x. Let me consider a few cases. In case 1, I will consider event x1 is having probability p1 and that is 0. What it means? It means event will not happen. One should know if event is having 0 probability, then event will not happen, right? In second case, I will consider event x1 is having probability that is 1. What it means? It means that the given event will only happen, means only this event will happen. So as if probability is 0, then one can say event will not happen and as if probability is 1, then one can say given event will only happen, means with case 1 and case 2, there is no uncertainty. So what is uncertainty? Let me explain that by one more case. See here, let us consider event x1 is having probability p1 that is 0 0.2 and event x2 is having probability p2 that is 0 0.3. It means here event x1 is having lower probability compared to event x2 means uncertainty of x1 is higher compared to event x2. So if you have lower probability then uncertainty is higher, right? So based on probability, one can understand how uncertainty is there with given event. If you have zero probability or one probability, then there is no uncertainty. The reason is this probability value that defines that whether event will not happen or it will only happen. But as if you have probability which is in between 0 to 1 and as if probability is lower, then one can say uncertainty is higher, right? As probability of message decreases, one can say uncertainty increases, right? Now let me discuss about measure of information. Here we have information message x that is having different events x1, x2, x3 up to xn and these events is having probabilities p1, p2, p3 up to pn and total probability is summation of probability of different events and that should be 1, right? Now if you want to understand what is information, then amount of information can be calculated by i of k that is log of base 2 1 by probability of given event. So if you want to understand information with given message like if I say I want to calculate information of message x2 then I should know the probability of x2 here it is p2. So information with x2 that will be log of base 2 1 divided by p2 right and one should know see here we have base 2 means in total calculation will be log of 1 by pk divided by log of 2, right? So if you want to understand total information, then basic equation is log of base 2 of 1 divided by probability. So that is the simple equation that is there with us. And see this equation explains you information and unit of information is bits, right? Now I'll explain you properties of information. So first property states that the greater the uncertainty about a message, the more information it conveys. See if you have higher uncertainty, then probability will be lower. And if you have lower probability, then you need more information. Let me explain this property. See if you have 
higher uncertainty then probability of given message will be lower and if you apply that to equation of information that is log of base 2 1 divided by pk then here for lower probability you need more information right so if you have lower probability then you need higher information so if you have greater uncertainty about the message then you need more information let me explain this by one example so now i'll consider two messages one message is having probability half and second message is having probability 1 by 4. If you have higher probability, then you will be having lower uncertainty, right? So here, see this P2 is having lower probability means P2 is having higher uncertainty. Now let us identify information for probability P1. So I of 1 that is log of base 2 1 divided by P1 where P1 is half. So in denominator, we have half over here. So this 2 will go in numerator. So log 2 divided by log 2, that will be 1. And one should know unit of information is bit, right? So for half probability, we need one bit information. Now let us identify information for probability P2. So here P2 is 1 by 4, this 4 will go in numerator. So log 4 divided by log 2, that will be 2 bits. So here you can observe with lower probability, we need higher information, right? So one can say if you have lower probability, then you need higher information. And if you have higher uncertainty, then there will be lower probability. So that is how this first property is there, right? Now let me explain second property. See if the receiver knows the message then information is zero. If receiver knows the message, then one can say probability of message is one. If receiver knows the message, then probability of message is one. And if you apply this in information equation, then see here log one divided by log two, that will be zero. Means information with given message is zero. The reason is receiver knows the message. Right. Now let me discuss about third property. See if I1 is the information of message M1 and I2 is the information of message M2, then combined information of M1 and M2 that is I1 plus I2. Let me explain this. See here I1 that is information of message M1. Let us consider message M1 that is having probability P1 and message M2 that is having probability P2. So information can be calculated by the standard equation, right? See, if you have two independent messages, then combined probability of M1 and M2 that is P1, P2. So if you calculate combined information, then you'll have to use information equation where this P is P1, P2. And one should know the property of log See, log of x, y is log of x plus log of y. So this will be log of base 2 1 by p1 plus log of base 2 1 by p2. And one should know this is what? Information i1 and this is what? Information i2. So if you have two messages, those two messages are independent messages. And this message is, is having information i1 and i2 respectively then combined information that is i1 plus i2 that one can derive using this standard equation right now let me explain last property see if there are m number of likely messages and here this m is 2 to the power n and this m are equally likely messages right then amount of information carried by each message will be n bits. So here we have equally likely messages. So each message that is having n bits, that is the property, right? Let me explain this. See here, if you have m messages, those are likely messages. Then probability of single message will be 1 by m. If you have in total m messages, 
and those are equally likely message then what is the probability of single message but obviously it is 1 by m right now what i'll do is i'll use equation of information that is log of base to 1 by p here this p is 1 by m so information is log of base to m and this m that is given here that is 2 to the power n so if you substitute this then this n will come in front so log of base 2 2 means log of 2 divided by log of 2 that is getting cancelled and you can say here we have n bits right so if you have m messages those are equally likely message and as if m is 2 to the power n then one can say with each message we need n bits so that is how we have properties of information i hope you have enjoyed this still if you have any confusion just place that in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video